This video is brought to you by Rocket Money and Babbel. More on them after the reaction, but first... Reject Nation, I am so excited to be here right now with all of you to tell you that we are doing a special giveaway for a private Real Rejects exclusive early screening of Dune Part 2 on IMAX. That's right. We have partnered with IMAX and Warner Brothers for this special fan out event at IMAX HQ. The fact that I get to experience the first time watching Dune Part 2 at IMAX with some of our followers is insane to me. That extended preview that WB recently released of Doom Part 2, I actually saw that at IMAX, and I can assure you, this is the version it was meant to be seen in. Doom Part 2 wasn't just made for IMAX, it was literally crafted for it, shot entirely with IMAX certified digital cameras. This film features the IMAX exclusive expanded ratio from start to finish. This means that exclusively in IMAX theaters, Doom Part 2 will visually expand to fill the entire screen, offering more image, unmatched detail, and clarity. When you combine this with next generation IMAX precision sound, you're not just watching a movie, you're immersed in a truly expansive experience. So yes, we're giving away tickets. Entry starts now, ends February 21st. Winners announced February 22nd with the screening taking place on the 25th. Winners will be chosen at random to join us for the screening. And you will be able to enjoy free concessions courtesy of IMAX. Plus, you might even be featuring our out of the theater reaction where you can give your honest thoughts on Dune Part 2 because you know how we do. We like to film our out of the theater review right there at the theater. This giveaway is for our LA-based followers ensuring you can join us at Playa Vista. Full details and entry instructions are in the link. But seriously, thank you to IMAX and Warner Brothers for this incredible opportunity. So guys, hit that link and let's dive back into Arrakis together. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is I, Andrew, and we are here to do the most awaited sequel of all time. Yes! Tron Legacy. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon all notifications and the like button so you can let us know that you are enjoying what you're watching also special thanks to prepper they edit down these videos thank you so much also full-length reaction watch along where you sync up with your own copy you get to watch the whole movie of tron legacy with J tronizio and hand clue uh -huh. I remembered it this there you time. Go. It's where we call you super sexy. It's the true way to enjoy the film. Also over there, Tronizio over oh, here oh, and oh. Greg have lots of exclusive highlights of many other TV shows and movies. It's a great time over there. Tron, do you have anything oh. to add before we start? Nah, man. I'm just I'm excited to get All derezzed right. with you. Oh, I understood and you, that reference. And you and you and you. Oh, well, if we get derezzed, we might not survive, but let's get into it. Oh my god, the effects oh. already! Oh my goodness, how did they achieve this? That is very okay. cool. I, I do like that. That, that is, is very, sick. very cool. Yes, I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm loving the soundtrack. Here already. we go. A digital frontier. I tried to picture clusters of information. They have riddles! Oh, yeah. <sighs> what did they look like? Ships? Motorcycles? <laughs> Were the circuits like freeways? I kept dreaming of a world I thought I'd never see. An information superhighway. One day. You got in. <sighs> it's the Matrix. I was just thinking that. Yes. This is this is V cool so far, and we're like forty seconds in. <laughs> See, he was getting ready to direct Top Gun. He's pretending like he's in an F-16 right exactly. now. Joseph Kaczynski. I want to watch this in the Soarin' Over California screen. <laughs> 1989! I like how we- 80s best ever decade of and, all time! And, and I like how we referenced Honey, I Shrunk the Kids in the first movie, even though this came out before. Which, that came out in 89. Just hey. saying. I met a brave warrior. Tron. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> um, Tron. I want to get that action figure. Sure does. Oh, oh. Man, the poster it's meta. of the movie. It's meta. This battle's fought in spectacular arenas and cycles that raced on ribbons of light. Hmm. And together, you built a grid. We built a new grid. Sure. For programs and users. It's called the Oasis. I created a program in my own image that could think like you and me. Hmm. And I called him. Clue. Chat GPT Clue. <laughs> and Clue, Tron, and I, we, we built a system where all information was free and open. Oh, that, that is a digital bridges. And then one day, something happened. Oh. <laughs> a miracle. What's a bad miracle? What was it? That'll have to wait until next time. 
You're the miracle. I want to go with you, Dad. One day, you will. Is that a promise or a threat? Not to get on a negative note, but the de-aging is not cut up yet. There's de-aging? No. (laughs) Can we play doubles on the same team? Wowie. (laughs) That is a hero shot, boy. (laughs) That is a fully CG Jeff Bridges. Just a little bit. Which it's surprising the amount of the time they do replace like full heads yeah, with CG. But this is 2010. But, but yeah, so for, for what they're using it for here. <laughs> yeah. It's still early on. So you, it's weird. It's like, it's not bad, but also it's. Uh. <laughs> and come CEO and video game icon Kevin Flynn has disappeared. Where did he go? Best known for designing Tron and Space Paranoids, the two best selling video games. Space Paranoids, boy. Things changed in 1985 with the untimely death of Flynn's wife. Oh, is that Cindy Morgan or a different character? And COM board members have been troubled by the reports of Flynn's erratic, even obsessive behavior. Oh, no. With Flynn missing, the company is now in Did chaos. Tony Stark take over the company? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and COM's board moved to seize control from Flynn's partner, Alan Bradley. Alan. Oh, Alan. Bradley maintains his belief that Flynn is not missing and is instead pursuing his dream of, quote, a digital frontier to reshape the human condition. Westworld. Yeah, love that Alan knows exactly where he is. In there is our future. In there is our destiny. Oof. In there is a box of scrap. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Kevin Flynn may have simply run away. Oh, no. Run away to the digital world. Yeah. I think I just saw that actor in Smallville. I could be wrong. Grandpa? Yeah. Season 7 of Smallville. Whoa. Oh, his Damn. dad was very important to him. What makes you say that? I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's been running ever since. You can't get any more emotional attachments since that happened. It's a rebel. Interesting. It's interesting the way they're shooting these scenes and like the frame rate and the color because like when we're out in the world, you feel like it's, I mean, this is more subjective, but it feels almost like a surveillance camera or something. Uh, That's a great shot. Yeah. Oh man, it's like a light cycle race. Well, this will serve him well later on. When he gets into the digital world. Ooh, damn, dude, that cop got cooked. It's like, where'd he go? Oh, big brother over here. Got some product placement. Starbucks. Ducati. Ducati. Pretty sure that's what Trinity was on in Matrix Reloaded, a Ducati. Trinity, (laughs) help. Oh, yeah, that door. I remember that. It's the door from the first movie. That's right. That's right, sir. Sure, we're going to get plenty of callbacks. Ooh. That's the same date that Marty went to on the flux capacitor of the DeLorean and Back to the Future. Now that is a big door. <laughs> it is a big door. Now that is a big door. Tonight, I am pleased to announce that NCOM's last fiscal year was our most profitable ever. Ever? Forever, ever? Wow. Is that, is that really weird? Let's find out, Andrew. Let's Get me a green it. laser. <laughs> Let's try it on the cameras here. Tonight, the 12th version of our flagship operating system will hit the shelves around the world. Gen- Genesis. Gen- Genesis. I understood that reference. A man whose father's Alan. own uh, notable history with Encom helped make this company what it is today. Yeah. Edward Dillinger. Oh, of Kill- course. Is that oh, Killian? damn. Killian Murphy? That is Killian Murphy. What? what? I had no idea he was in this movie. Oh, my God. I love it. I had no idea he was David Warner's son. Encom stock will now trade around the world 24 Whoa. 7. Yes. That's good, I assume. No, not the blue laser. The Blu ray. <laughs> Ugh. He's in the physical media department. Given the prices 
that we charge to students, schools. What sort of improvements have been made in Flynn? Uh, I mean, um, <laughs> Income OS 12. <laughs> now this year we put a 12 on the box. You evil corporate bastard. The idea of sharing our software or giving it away for free disappeared with Kevin Flynn. This is oh, totally a role I could see no. Killian Murphy doing now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but it's nice that Alan has come full circle, like in with appreciating Flynn or Kevin. Sure. I mean, because he did not care for him much in the first film. Come on, come on. Yeah, you can't hoard information, gang. I think I've seen this guy in Scary Movie and Halloween Resurrection. Whoa. Okay. Ah. Uh, you nice. snooze, you lose. I would like you to meet our next blockbuster. Encom OS 12. Whoa. Good job, Sam. That is what it will be used for. He uploaded a virus. You don't appreciate my dad, this is what you get. For one second. Live to their headquarters where Encom's chairman, Richard Mack. I can't tell. Is that... Jeffrey Dean Moore. What? We're about to go live on TV? Does anyone know where the master file is? I do. It's on the web. Oh, no. He pulling Natasha Romanoff. Hey, gave information to the people. He's digital Robin Hood. No. Shut it down. Kill. Relax. It's under control. Our most valuable and most secure operating system is out there for free. <laughs> Say it was all part of the plan. It's all part, part of, of the plan. plan. Was that a reference? I'll leave it up to you to decide. There's nothing like a good top of a building establishing shot. He's getting his Batman on. Yeah. Oh, damn, I didn't even notice that until yeah. you said that. Jesus. Income City. Damn, he really lives on the edge. <laughs> yeah. I'm a donkey on the edge! Hey, Dad. I'm good. Where are you gonna run to now? He's got a parachute. This guy. He's really taking a risk for a security job. <laughs> Your boss works for the CEO. And the CEO works for the shareholders. Now, do you know who the biggest shareholder is? Yeah. I don't know, some kid. <laughs> You're Mr. Flynn? Yeah. Why? This is your father's company. Not Buzz. anymore. Not anymore. Ha <laughs> ha, called it. Hey kid, no, no! Whoa! Nice. He did like Damn, he pulled wow. that out late. That must be the greatest parachute ever assembled. I mean, that is <laughs> extremely late. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh! He really did that. Yes. Dude, hit the brakes. <laughs> I see, hit the brakes. <laughs> nice, nice hood slide, nice jumps. Parkour! You outran the bike, what's what's a helicopter? Look at this man. Sam planned to get caught. Spirit. He yeah. wanted me to arrest him. <laughs> he wanted me to lock him up in the MC go. Oh, but he can always pay his way out, yeah. Wait, does he get towed cool. often? Nah, yeah, he just knows all the guards. He's out here getting arrested every day. Dumont shipping. That's a pretty cool little pad. Yeah, boy. Enjoy it, Marv. Oh, it was his dog. Marv! Where's Harry? How you been, Sam? Oh, you know, when I was 12, I really appreciated the surrogate father thing, but come on, Alan. I got it all under control now. Oh. Clearly. Clearly. Ha-ha! <laughs> did you write I co-wrote script? this movie. Spoilers. Heard you did a triple axle off of her a few hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Rough Damn. landing, huh? I'm not a figure skater. I also thought your message to the board was very clever. Uh, that's Marv's idea. <laughs> he produces all of Matthew Vaughn's movies. Are we really going to do this again? Do I really look like I'm ready to run a Fortune 500 company? <laughs> the Ducati logo just right over his shoulder. <laughs> Gotta have it right in frame. <laughs> See, that way they can just keep doing whatever they want. You know, I guess what I find curious is the crazy charities, <laughs> the annual prank on the company. <laughs> the Halloween heist. You have an interesting way of being disinterested, Sam. Why are you here, Alan? 
A pager? <laughs> Hell yeah, Alan. Alan's a doctor. Page came from your dad's office at the arcade. What Ooh, the arcade? What the arcade? Flynn's. That number's been disconnected for 20 years. Oh. Two nights before he disappeared, he came to my house. The CGI figure of him? <laughs> he said he was about to change everything. Science, medicine, religion. He wouldn't have left that, Sam. Unless he got sucked back in. He wouldn't have left you. He wouldn't have left you. Oh! We both we wrote, wrote this it. together. Good good work, Andrew. And Clue and Tronizio. He's either dead or chilling in Costa. Probably both. I'm tired. I smell like jail. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the idea that his dad is both dead and chilling. Because <laughs> it, it works. These are the keys to the arcade. Oh. I haven't gone over there yet. I thought you should be the one. Alan, you're acting like I'm going to find him sitting there work. You might. Hey, get off. Lost track of time. He's would, going to say that. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> wouldn't that be something? Oh, my God, Andrew! I remember that. What from are the you doing? I, that oh. I remember from the trailer. All right, all right, all right. I've seen the trailer many that times. That one, I was like, Daft, what's going on? The, the Daft Punk. <laughs> that, 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 the Daft Punk I, trailer I get you. in the trailer. I get you. That was so good. Ha <laughs> nice dissolve there. Damn, it still looks the same. Uh, minus the bars holding <laughs> Minus the dilapidation, of course, yes. Yeah. Wow. They really are doing a lot with this, like, brown-gray drab palette. Oh, let's go! What game are you playing first? Twilight Zone Pinball Baby! Fix it, Felix I, Jr. I mean, first for me. Space Paranoids, of course. <laughs> Oh, right. He used to live there. Yep. Yeah. Damn, dude. The most epic song of the 80s. I don't remember, but this song was probably two, in the first movie. Two. Oh, yeah. Is it like a secret door? Do you open it with your blood? Oh, the <laughs> game's been renamed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They really shot this at California Adventure. No! The worst! Well, at least they didn't eat it. <laughs> uh, oh, you can tell something's been... You gotta move actually it. Actually true. It's just disapp... I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Secret door. <laughs> Separate ways. That's a medium door. <laughs> Sweet dreams Down the stairs to another needle drop. This. <laughs> Who am I to, to disagree? disagree. <laughs> Gotta do another Jeff. Jeff Bridges, of course. Everybody's looking for something and you found my keys. I'm interested to see how I warm up to this guy across the movie. They've given him a fun intro, which I wasn't expecting. He's not as brooding as I thought he would be. So um, I'm optimistic. It's up to you, Garrett Headland. Yeah. I think that's your name. I think the only thing I've seen him in is Troy. Oh, yeah. I believe he's Achilles' cousin. Ooh, nice. <laughs> that is old school. Yeah, well done. It's a great trick. If you want to make sci-fi stuff look even better or more lived in, just cake some dirt on it. <laughs> Put a bird on it. Let's try the back door. I feel like you should always just try the back door first in these situations. Uh oh. Oh. You're about to get shrunk You're into alive a digital. On <laughs> yeah. The laser. Aperture. He just immediately knows to activate the laser. Oh, oh, they did that digital oh, effect again! Yes! <laughs> Not oh, bad. I love it. Damn, I did not expect to, to, to be here this fast. Yeah, because what was it, like about 25 minutes or so in the first film, right, that we took to get in? Wowie. <laughs> Tron Runner 2009, whenever, the, I don't remember the year. <laughs> whenever this was made. <laughs> Oh. Uh, beam me up, Scotty! Wow. Wow! 
they are fully rendered. Give us the effects of the first film. Oh man, this is happening. This is happening, LCD sound system. Oh. Oh, and I'm loving the soundtrack so much already. We got a graphics upgrade. This program has no disc. Another straight. This program has no disc. I'll wait till you guys get to the solid state future. No illegals here. Jesus. That's amazing. He actually did it. I'm on the grid. Damn. So he just knew. He just knew exactly what to do. <laughs> That one story he told me as a child gave me enough insight to lead me to this moment. <laughs> Does the name Kevin Flynn mean anything to you? Get quiet if you want to live. Whoa, damn, Gigolo Joe. What's his problem? Whoa! All right, we need another actor from Bill and Ted in this. Yeah, right. Where's uh, what's his name? Al Leong, the guy who plays Genghis Khan. <laughs> Get him in here. <laughs> Wanna The update on these ships, so good. Yeah. Uh, this reminds me Yeah. I well no, this 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 is make like making me flash back to old episodes like Johnny Quest on Toonami and like how cool I thought all that CG stuff was. Yeah. Whoa, buy me a drink first. Games. Games. Look, I know you probably get this a lot, but there's been a big mistake. Games. Oh, yeah. Whoa. You're a gladiator now, son. Erase me! Erase me! Oh! Oh, my God. You turn into pixels or coins? <laughs> Is this haunted room actually stretching? Oh. There is a welcoming burlesque number. What? I like the way they walk. Is happening. Wowie. Oh my. What on earth? Whoa. That's so cool. So his clothes are still technically like real, sort of? He's different. Oh, he's the special. I hope I live to see the day where, like, going to laser tag is like this. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Attention program. You will receive an identity disc. Identity disc. Everything you do or learn. Oh, that's, uh, what's her name? Sarinda Swan? Is it? Pure Reacher. You will be subject to immediate de-resolution. Oh, and de a really cool music cue. Wowie. Mary incomplete. Just activated and synchronized. Proceed to games. You're in the Hunger Games now, boy. Fight for your life. May the odds be ever in your flavor. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Survive. Survive. Hey! hey! Well done. Well hey. done. Was this written by an artificial intelligence? <laughs> wow. Cool. I want, I want some Daft Punk. <laughs> Whew. I like how all the people working here have like their own little docking station. Go back and charge up. <laughs> Ooh, and he's got those little archery gloves. Whoa, Whoa yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Disc Wars. Damn. The server has been upgraded. If you open up the top of your computer or the back of it, this is what's going on inside. I can't believe they got David Warner back. Yeah. I wish they would cut to like a live, you know, digital orchestra playing all this. <laughs> That's the only extra flourish I desire. Commands three and eleven. It's like that's, good for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete you now. Yeah, that's one fierce action figure. Whoa! Ooh! You definitely didn't do that. <laughs> Talk to NECA about that. 
Whoa! d -res. And all those pixels just go back into the cosmic reservoir. Yeah! Yeah, buddy. Use Ooh. all your brooding skills. Yeah. Use all that ultimate frisbee. <laughs> Block it! Oh, whoa, damn! I like the this. I like the hexagons of the shape of the future. Whoa! It's like what difficulty level am I playing on? Whoa! Oh, damn! Whoa! It's not I want the squid game! No unusual activity on the grid. Security sweeps and patrols are being intensified. Rectify our on schedule. Our initiative should be fully operational within 12 cycles. Hey! Perhaps if you were to include me in this initiative, I could be of even greater service. Alright, careful, boy. Don't push it, buddy. <laughs> Wow, let's go. I'm out. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Jesus! Hey! Oh, look out now. Did you leave your disc, though? Or did you get it back? All right, he oh. got it back. Oh. Oh. Uh, Who's that program? Well, we know he's good at escaping and jumping <laughs> to places. Where's your parachute? It ain't no program. Yeah. Damn. Combatant three versus Rinslow. Look at those lights. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh oh. So he's like controlling him. Whoa. Whoa! He's Darth Maul! Oh crap, you weren't lying, he really is. Yeah. And he's calming himself in the process, you know? This guy also break dances. Oh, nice! Was that a triple axel? Th this dude also figure skates as well. <laughs> Let's turn back time. Come on. Uh oh, is the thing gonna flip? Yeah. There's good visual suggestion in, in this. Whoa, cool shot. I love it upside hand down. Hand. Or disc to disc. Interesting. I wonder if they shot the- Wow! I wonder if they shot that right side up and then just flipped it, or if they like really composed for upside down. Wow! Right in the camera, boy. Uh oh! Spider blood! Spider man blood drop! User. Oh, what we got? He's not supposed to bleed. This guy over here, this hench looks real familiar. I'm not a program. I ain't a part of your system. I'm an adult. My name is Sam Flynn. He said the Flynn word. Oh, the, That's the, the only F word, word that matters right in this universe. Bring it to me. Did that sound like Jeff? That this? sounded a little Jeff. Where am I? Am I on the grid? You're in a really cool BDSM club. Who are you? Oh, ah. yeah. That is yeah. good CGI. Look at you, man. Look at the size of you. It is, it is CGI. <laughs> I got your message. Oh. oh, so it's just you? Yeah, just you. Uh-oh. Oh, a lot's happened, Sam. More than you can imagine. This. Let's have a look. It's obviously way more updated, but at least this scene does have some of that sort of 
previous movie charm of how like the lining pops on all the suits and stuff. Oh yeah, totally. Got it. <laughs> I know kung fu. You were trapped in here. That's right. I've been trapped in here. And you're in charge. All right, again. You're two for two. <laughs> Shall we go for a third? So can we just go home now? Can we play catch, Dad, please? Not in the cards. Not for you. That's a hell of a way to treat your son. Oh, that. Oh, that. I'm not your father, Sam. Yeah, clues gone rogue. Hand clue? And clue, how could you? Well, yeah, we saw he got derezzed in the first one, right? Well, uh, something's up. Where is he? What'd you do to him? Same thing I'm going to do to you. User. I'm going to de -age you to a CGI monstrosity. <laughs> he said the U word. See, this is cool. This feels like, like a taiko drumming ceremony, but with like really bit crushed audio. Your rumors are true. We do indeed have a user. A user. A user. user. What does this user deserve? Might I suggest perhaps? The challenge of the grid. <laughs> Want to see the motorcycle rides? Oh yes, indeed, programs. Be your liberator. Be your luminary. Oh no. Rent, rent the same guy he just fought, played. The one who the tyranny of the user was uh -oh. before. I've been waiting a long oh, time. Oh, clue. Yeah. Ah! Clue. You were, it's real good. Execution. Oh, it's magnificent. The crowd seemed quite energized. Beautiful. <laughs> just, my man's is just always trying for that promotion. Res respect your hustle. <laughs> what do I do with this? Lightsaber battle? I'll give you a hint. It's upside down. Not that. <laughs> You're gonna play Boggle. Grid is live. Uh oh. Uh oh. Light cycle? Oh, damn. Here we oh! go. <laughs> nice. Yes! Nice. Oh. The bikes are faster than ours. Use the oh. levels. Use the you levels. You don't know. He is a motorcyclist. Yeah, he's got a Ducati. Now, this I can do. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Right. Daft Punk! Let's go! <laughs> Cut to them in the pyramid, you cowards! Ooh. Hey, popping a wheelie like a cool guy. Oh man, this is so good. Do, 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 do. Is there like an actual video game tie-in? I, I feel like I would hear more about it. Whoa. It's cool the way they're animating the updated yeah, yes, light streams, yes, too. Yes. This, like, translucent glass-like quality. Whoa! Wow! Whoa. Let's go, show your skills! Oh, wow. Oh! oh. Smacked him! <laughs> No! God, the updated version of the game has so many more axes for you to maneuver on. Yeah, they were so limited what they could do in the previous film. Woo! Even the sound design. <laughs> Let's go. Wowie! And it's good because the orange ones still look like they're blowing up. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Ah. Whoa! We gotta work together! It's the only way! <laughs> Dude, I love the colors All right. in this. So I'm going this way. <laughs> on your left? Boom! Boom! <laughs> oh! Another customer. Hmm. 
Yes. Wow. Not bad. Very cool. Very cool. Is that Sam's? I don't know. If Clue doesn't beat you there. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. What? Yeah. Ah! No, poor guy. Yeah, I was gonna say, is the hand still on it? Come on. Let's play chicken. Oh. Whoa, nice POV. Oh. Well, he still has the other one. Yeah, that's true. But will it work as well because he hasn't bonded with it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa! Whoa. Woo! Oh, you luck you got lucky, dude. The the Tron mobile. Get in, loser. <laughs> I like it. We got the Tron mobile. Yeah. Woo! Nice cockpit shot. Release the prince. Game on, old friend. Uh -huh. Wow. Do a barrel roll. Do you think Rinsler is Killian Murphy? I don't know. Oh, would he be? Maybe. I'd be my guess. I don't know. That was the word the first time, and it's coming back again. Wow. Wow. Whoa! Damn it. Y'all got extra bonus lives and stuff. Yes. Whoa! Nah, you're a master builder. I can make it! You can go off the grid. Ha, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lulz. Olivia Wilde? Hey! Oh, wow, you're hot. Don't worry, darling. They're turning around. Not by choice. Yeah. Their vehicles aren't designed to go off grid. They'll malfunction on this terrain. Yeah, they'll glitch. Dude, it's an open world Tron now. That's cool too. This looks like just fractured pieces of obsidian. Now we're in the Mad Max side of Tron. There's roving gangs of people shanking each other for ram chips. That, that's bait. Graphics cards. Wow, really is the back cave. It is. Or the Tron Cave. Who could it be? Uh, are you an effective team? It's the architect. Yeah. I dreamed of Tron. First time in years. Do robots dream of electric Tron? I'm afraid something's happened. Something has happened. We have a guest. Jesus has arrived. Long time. You have no idea. That's Jeff Bridges. I wonder how, uh, again, how time works there. Oh, You're here. my boy. You're big. <laughs> You're old. Old. Yes. <laughs> Alan came over. He got your page. I found it <laughs> under the arcade. This is really touching. Flynn shared them with me. I've read them all. <laughs> Light reading. What else is there to do there? Where did they get these books in this world? Flynn is teaching me about the art of the selfless, about removing oneself from the equation. But between you and me, Jules Verne is my favorite. And Doc Emmett Brown's. Hey, look out. I'm sure you must have a few questions that have been wrong, Sam. Actually, just one. Why I never came home. Yeah. Those nights when I went to the office, I'm sure you figured it out by now I was coming here. You're an addict. Human form into digital space. Heavy stuff. <laughs> it is heavy, Doc. But I also had you. I had income. I couldn't be in here all the time. I needed partners to help out. Tron and Clue. That's right. Here's the backstory. Tron was created by Alan for the old system. I love... I brought him here to protect this one. Clue was my creation. <laughs> And the Tron CGI. This is a mid-movie cutscene. <laughs> is what this is. Oh, we were jamming, man. Building Utopia. Hours in here were just minutes back home. Okay. Jamming, man. There we go. That's the answer. This one I thought it couldn't get any more profound. 
Something unexpected had happened. The miracle. Oh boy. Isos. Isomorphic algorithms. Yes, of course. You created them? No, no. <laughs> like a flame. They weren't really, really from anywhere. The conditions were right and they came into being. Oh, like the Big Bang. Like us. I found them in here. Like flowers in a wasteland. Wow, that's poetic. Profoundly naive. Did they throw this filter on here to improve, improve the effects? They were spectacular. Everything I'd hoped to find in the system. That's Whoa, a cool detail. That is really cool. The possibilities of their root code, their digital DNA, disease, history. Sure. Every idea man has ever had about the universe up for grabs. You could just patch Our anything and everything. Jazz, man. Yeah, Bio man. Bio digital jazz, man. Yeah, so that were gonna be my gift to the world. <laughs> so what happened? Clue. Clue. Which clue? Clues agent Smith. He became self-aware. Yeah. Turned into into Skynet. Am I still to create the perfect system? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, a coup. Oh my God. What if he said no? Wow. Oh boy. Oh, yin and oh, yang, he's, light he's and got, dark. He, he's got the double things like the gr other one. He's like, a great Jedi. The one you call Darth Maul. What, R Renser? Rinsler, yeah. Rinsler? Whoa. Damn. Ah. Jesus. fought for me. Sure. It was impressive, really. And my miracle, Plu saw the ISOs as an imperfection. Uh, of course. So he destroyed them. Damn it. He has no appreciation for Wabi Sabi. I tried to get back, but I, I couldn't get to the portal. It uses massive uh, power and it can't stay open forever. And like a safe, it sure. can only be open from the outside. Sure. It closed on me, Sam. That's why I never came home. So you're not a deadbeat father. Yeah. Okay, good to know. I just couldn't get there. It activated when I came in. So it's open now. Not for long. So they only have a limited time. Yep. The moment Flynn is on the grid, Clue will stop at nothing to obtain his disc. My disc is everything, Sam. It's the master key. The golden ticket, the way out. It's my so disc in a box. So he's Charlie Bucket. No, that's, that's Ready Player One, man. Ah. So what do we do? Nothing? It's amazing how productive doing nothing can be. Clue Dude. is planning something. We've known that for a while. He's on the towel of poo right here. If we sit tight, Clue might be brought down from the inside. Uh, the portal's closed and we can't just sit around. We uh, have to move now. Interesting yeah, this definitely shot. adds stakes with the time frame. Can she be trusted? Alan got your page. I didn't send any page. Uh -oh. Was it Clue? It was Clue. Clue sent that page. That's why you're here. This is all his design. <laughs> he wanted a new piece on the board to change the game. And he perfected pager technology. This is precisely what he wants, us together heading for the portal. It's his game now. The only way to win is not to play. Also, if you notice, they cut away the board. from Tron being derez. Like, we didn't actually see it happen. Or he could have built more. I mean, he's got like a bunch of himself, I guess. How can he be so afraid of his own creation? I mean, he built Clue. Why doesn't he just end him? <laughs> he could, but it would require reintegration. Yeah, all right. Flynn would never survive the event. It would mean the end of them both. Mm. If he refuses to save himself, then I will. I'm going to knock him out and carry him out if I have to. I'm going through the portal. Who wants Flynn's disc? Not mine. I find out and we're going to figure this thing out from the other side. But I can't do anything unless I get to the portal. My guts tell me that you don't want to be stuck in this place for eternity either. You want to be a real boy. I see them being friends in the real world, too. <laughs> to hell with you. <laughs> Women, am I right? There's someone I once knew. A program named Zeus who fought alongside the ISOs. They say he can get anyone, anywhere. Oh, yeah. How do I find him? He finds you. This is his sector. Make it there alive. And he'll find you. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh no, he wanted to read him a story. He took the bike. 
Oh my god, and it's got the coolest facial light spill readout. Uh oh. Luke over here with the blue milk. Hey man, it's your lucky day. Hey man. Get in, loser, we're breaking out. Oh, he traded him. Ha. <laughs> He's got his Jedi robe on. You remember me? Yeah. Uh oh. You gave me some advice. And you found it. Survive. It's unfortunate we met the way we did. I was at work. Centuries downtown have recovered Flynn's light cycle. We've traced it to its point of origin. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You've got the promotion. <laughs> Finally. Prepare the light runner, Cora. It's time. We're going downtown. <laughs> We're going out. <laughs> Does she have to install those lashes, or is that just part of the program? <laughs> How many software updates does this system require? What about the firmware? Does it ever just buffer? <laughs> you don't need to go. I've sent him to someone we can trust. Cora, there is no choice. I won't lose him again. Aww. Aww. He's still a father at heart first. Good news. Ooh. Disorder! Oh, this music is so good. <laughs> Where can I get one of these suits, man? Seriously, Halloween. We gotta wear one of these. <laughs> hey, there they are! They're the Robot Boys! Daft Punk cameo. Shouts out to Tony Gardner on those helmets. I wonder if they actually showed up or if it's just two dudes in the helmets. If you want to speak to Zeus, you're going to have to go through him. Where's your sense of humor, my friend? Programs are disappearing. Oh, Casters what? what? Is that Michael, Michael Sheen? Well, of course Zeus can do these things. And grant me an audience. Wow, what a scar. Intoxicating, my dear Bartik, but Zeus's time is precious. <laughs> the thin white duke over here. Jesus, full Bowie. But have a drink, courtesy of the end of Lion Club. It is happening. Oh, the prophecy. The son of Flynn. Of all the innumerable possibilities, he has to walk into mine. <laughs> Libations for everybody! <laughs> it's on the house. I'm Casta, your host. Ooh. Provider of any and all entertainments and diversions. Caster Troy. Oh, I understood that reference. That's not my Keanu Reeves, by the way. I'm looking for zoos. Where can I find them? This pretty miss is a conversation best had behind closed doors. Perhaps we should retire to my private lounge. Where are we in the, like, Michael Sheen typecasting cycle? <laughs> ah! Change the scheme, alter the mood. Electrify the boys and girls if you'd be so kind. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I like their Tron era suits as well. Jen. My name is Jem. You are a gem. And you are a gem. Ah, oh, don't cut away from the tunes! They drop the beat! <laughs> that's a good, that's a pretty good looking shot. And then we got this one. <laughs> hey. Can't have too many The breaks. animators rendered this in a cave <laughs> with a- With a box of scraps! Yeah. The box of old PS3s. Still warm. <laughs> Depromoted. Dude, what are you doing? Yeah. I guess we're about to see. Whoa. Uh huh. You are clue. I am Clue. You will create the perfect system. I will create the perfect system. Peace in our time. Oh boy. Together we're gonna change the world, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I need to get to the portal. Well, it's closing quickly. As I'm sure you're aware. You'll have to wait for Portal 2. And it's quite the journey. Beyond the far reaches of the Outlands. Of the Borderlands. Can you help me? Of course. 
<laughs> but first, as a man who prides himself on staying well informed, I must ask who sent you my way. Oh. Her name's Cora. Said she met you a long time ago. Indeed she did. She dumped me. I googled something and she had an answer. It was a different time. But we're not here to relive the past. Let's see about your future, shall we? Now we'll have to uh, change your attire and you'll need a forged disc. Not easy these days, by the way. <laughs> and of course, you'll need transport Whoa. to cross the sea of simulation. Turn on the VPN. This is going to be quite the ride. <laughs> I thought he was going to say this is going to be cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got just a song for this. Really do have a lightsabers. Oh! Resistance! Oh, you knew it. You backstabber! Yeah. Quora! Quora, let's go! Woo! Ah. Oh. I met your friend. He's fantastic. <laughs> Jeez. He's so Boy, He's really chewing up the scenery. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> of course. Ooh. You're not being very excellent to these guys, sir. Oh, nice. <laughs> No! <laughs> Jeez. How long do they have him up there recording bits? Oh. Dad? Papa. Uh. The Maker! Yeah. God has returned. Oh. I love when he says, man. <laughs> Let's split, man. I do appreciate that they kept his vibe intact. Everyone's praying. No. Oh, no. Got the disc. The disc. This looks like the making of a roller coaster ride. Wow. I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> little Charlie Chaplin. <sighs> this movie has a little bit more wildness in it than I would have expected. I expected this to only go for like sleek and cool brooding modern, but it's like actually having a bit of fun. It's nice having the maker with you. I can go back. No, we stay together. Dad, I can do this. You've done enough already! Yeah, boy. I miss yelling at you for the last 20 years. We do it your way. Full on sprint to the portal. If we beat Clue there, we have a chance. Something tells me Clue's gonna be waiting at the portal because he looked directly at the portal. Is she gonna make it? I don't know. I gotta identify the damage code. The sequencing is just enormously complex. Use your zen. Yeah. But didn't you write it? Some of it. The rest of it is just... Beyond me. Hey. She's an ISO. Oh. Of course she must the be. last ISO. Oh, oh no, she's the chosen. All this time she's we're just the one. Protecting her. She's the miracle man. <laughs> A digital frontier to reshape the human condition. Alright, she's gotta get out of the portal. A digital frontier to reshape the human condition. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta replace it with something, though. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Very cool. Ice caps are melting. War in the Middle East. The Lakers, Celtics back at it. Some things never change. That was actually that year, too. 2010 and 2008. Wi-Fi. What's Wi-Fi? Wireless yeah. interlinking. A digital huh? device? Yeah. I thought of that in 85. Yeah, you did. And I was this close. <laughs> Mom and dad, I assume that, uh, yeah. Oh. oh, man. They did join AARP. Should have seen this place back then. Couldn't wait to show it to you. Must have been something before Clue screwed it up. No, no, he he's me. I screwed it up. Uh -huh. Chasing after perfection. Chasing after what was yeah. right in front of me. Oh. Uh, 
I'd have given it all up for one more day with you. Well, now you don't have to. Give her this. The old man's gonna knock on the sky. Listen to the sound. Gotta get my zen on. How long have you been searching for this? About a thousand cycles. Oh, I would not threaten him. The master key to any and all riddles of the great, great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's calm it down a little bit. <laughs> I've heard the chatter about this private initiative. Nah, yeah, little glass umbrella. <laughs> Give me the drink. I'll throw you the idol. What did he do to the drink? Oh. Jesus. <laughs> End of line, man. No. We had a deal. Oh, well, he might be all right. We didn't see it. That's right. Clue has the disc. Once I get out, I can shut him down. Everybody's looking for the golden, yeah, golden disket. It was during the purge. Clue was relentless. The black guard were executing ISOs in the streets. Yeesh. Everyone I knew disappeared. She's got a tragic backstory. Then they came for me, so I ran. A sympathetic Same. program smuggled me out of the city. But soon they had me surrounded. Oh boy. Just as everything was going dark, I felt a hand on my shoulder. Said, What's up, man? And when I opened my eyes, I was in a fuzzy bathroom. Me was the creator, your father. Who art in heaven. I guess you could say I'm a rescue. Like Marv! <laughs> oh my god. The parallels! You're Marv also. I love a view. It used to let us know that Flynn was here, it oh. became a symbol of something bigger. The Messiah. I've never been this close before. It's how I imagine a sunrise to be. Uh, trust me, there's no comparison. First sunrise in the Matrix. What's it like? The sun. I've never had to describe it before. Pretty sunny, sun-like. And it gets everywhere. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Are we still talking about the sun? You're like the sun! It did a good job of making the visuals in this movie also be a character. Ah! Oh, oh. Sam! I like that he's excited for their little meet cute right here. This is supposed to be here. A new course. What? What is this? Clue can't create programs. He can only destroy or repurpose them. Whoa. Nefarious deeds. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Cor what? No. Oh no. Take him down. Wowie. Superhero landing. Nice sound effects. Oh no, please don't. Jeez. What? Oh. Of course it had to be. Of course it had to be. It's his legacy. We can't just let her go. No, Sam. There's another way. There's no other way. Oh, okay. At least he didn't de no her. Other way. You are a very rare bird, aren't you? I so. You must have been so lonely out there. Tragic to be the only one. So patronizing. I've seen what users are capable of, Clue. You don't belong with them. Yeah, you're not a real master builder. I have something very special in mind for you. Take her upstairs. Put her in the Iron Maiden. We have achieved a great many things. Lose Iron! Complex system. We have rid it of its imperfection. Rid it of the false deity who sought to enslave us. Oh. My fellow programs, let there be no doubt that our world is a cage no more. The key oh. to the next frontier is finally in our possession. Oh, yeah. Activate the laser. And unlike our selfish creator, who reserved the privilege of our world only for himself, I will make their world open and available to all of us. 
Damn, dude. Why don't you just make your own world great? Yeah, colonize our world. Is he gonna techno-form the world? Oh, into the real world. Dad, we have to get your disc. No, we gotta get to the portal. You shut them down from the outside. Even if I make it out, you won't last in here. Sam, Coral won't Sam, last. be all right. Come on. Will you let it go? I'm not going home without you. I'm not gonna lose you again. Meet me on the flight deck in five and get us some wheels. Wheels? What's your plan? I'm a user. I'll improvise. Yes. Uh -huh. I hope this leads to one of those scenes where he has to act so irrationally that they could never predict his choices. Do a bunch of silly shit. I'm a user. Oh, yeah. I'm not a program. Hey. I'm a Bitch. <laughs> I love the expressions on this guy. Identify yourself. I'm taking this vehicle. You are not authorized. <laughs> right away, sir. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. I, I wish you could just do that to everybody. Just be like, bonk. Do what I say, bonk. Master key disengaged. Get it. Got the big zoom. I came with a girl. A program. Where is she? I love how this guy's such an opportunist. Go! Owie! Uh, Tron! Damn it, Tron. Ooh. Use the other disc! Ooh. Come on, Captain Boomerang. Ooh. Oh, dropping him. What are you doing here? We gotta get to the flight deck. But Clue will be here any minute. We'll never make it. Come on. I'm getting a clue. Yeah. Radical man. Radical! Yeah. The base jump came back. And he opened the chute way earlier. Way this earlier. Time. <laughs> <laughs> that was really at the last second the first time. Made it. Yes, we did. You got this, Cora. It's all in the wrist. Hell yeah. Flick of the wrist. Yeah, you saw that coming. <laughs> Go team. Whoa! Damn. Not bad. That is sick. That would have been a little tough to pull off in 82. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen their attempt. Oh, I, I would have loved to have seen it too. Here they come. Sam, take the turret. Huh? Oh, you got this, bud. Remember, don't get cocky. <laughs> Truly your father's son. That's a cool touch with the jet stream light bars. We gotta split him up! Do a barrel roll! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Classic. Dude, I love the water pixels. Gotta get behind them! Ha <laughs> I wanna be in a life and death situation, but still feel good enough to go, woo! Wowie. If ever a movie was made to sell TVs. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying too high. And so uh -oh. are we. Oh no. Wow. Oh, oh damn. You become so strong, Fox. Oh damn. You gotta go out there and fix it. He used to fight for this place. For freedom. No. Remember. Remember, Tron. Rensler, take a shot. My name is not Rensler. He's emotionally conflicted. Damn, Tron old. Tron old. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Yeah. Peppy is shedding a tear. It's a single tear. Joy and wisdom. Why fight for the users. 
Yeah, my man. Ooh. Yes, you do, Tron. He had no clue it was coming. Ha ah, ha ha. I see what you did there. Oh. Oh no. Is he gonna learn Sam's free falling trick? Oh damn. <laughs> what a way to wake up. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, dude. Ugh. Ah! Of course. Of course. <laughs> that is very cool. Oh, there is actual water in there, too. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah! Oh, it's all in the wrists! And, and a great plunge. How far we've come. Ah! Of course, he called it. He said he was going to be there. Although he, he made it by, like, the skin of his teeth. The cycles haven't been kind, have they? Oh, you don't look so bad. Besides the CGI face. I did everything. I know you did. I executed the plan. As you saw it, you promised that we would change the world together. I'm getting a Han Solo, Ben Solo vibe. I created the perfect system. The thing about perfection is that it's unknowable. Bars. It's impossible, but it's also right in front of us all the time. It's a matter of perspective. I'm sorry. What are we doing here? Flick of the wrist? Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Kick him in the program balls. We need a Tron rescue right now. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. That's pretty cool. That, that's really Sweet. Cool. That is really cool, actually. Hey, hey, hey. Remember what you came for. If he destroys... Ooh, boy. Can he be alive if he destroys uh, Flynn? I mean, I guess. He's his own little program. Yeah, so. I guess so. Uh. You've uh. been tricked, sir! Uh-oh. Oh! No. no! Dude, you can always come back and get him. Yeah, they've got your disc. Sam! It's time! No! It's what he wants. Let him die with his creation. Take her! Oh, Sophie's choice right now. Damn, to have found father, only to have lost him again. Oh, nice. Like the poster! The poster! The poster! Out through the land cable. Damn. This dude does not give up. Oh! Whoa. Okay. Whoa! Wowie! What on earth? Oh, what? What does the merge mean? Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice rack focus out. Yes. Slash dissolve. Very nice transition. Oh, that was an emotional transition. An emotional transfer complete. And none of this actually happened. It was just the gameplay of the game that he played, and he's just been here playing a video game for the past two hours. Did Quora come out with him, or is she in that? Well, he had her disc back there. Or I guess is she... Which one of them is in the little chip right now? <laughs> you page me. Need you at NCOM at 8 a.m. Who are you, and what have you done with Sam Flynn? You're chairman now. I'm taking the company back, Alan. My man. And I'm going to make a lot of money. Oh, and you were right. About what? Everything. About everything. Oh, hey! My man. My man. <laughs> Just guessing these button lines. Vindicated after so many years. What's next, Sam? 
She's in a party. Hey. I guess we're supposed to change the world. This world. Come on. I want to show you something. Marv? Got to introduce her to Marv now. And real world physics. Yeah. Got to show her what a cricket cheeseburger tastes like. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love Damn. how fascinated she is by the the real world away from the digital world. Yeah, it's like part of me I could see like her as like the main character in an Alita Battle Angel esque sort of Tron movie happening like alongside this one almost. This is the nicest the real world has looked thus far. This is uh, the most saturated and colorful. Yes, yes. It's been like flat brown <laughs> most of the rest of the time. Yeah. Oh, she likes him. They go on an adventure. Gonna make a lot of ISO babies. Sure. <laughs> wow. Okay, Joseph Kaczynski, not bad. And then there was Top Gun. Sure, okay. Uh, All right, Reject Nation, let's get real for a moment. Running this channel is incredible, but managing finances, especially taxes and budgeting, both for the channel and my personal life, can be overwhelming. That's where Rocket Money has been a financial lifesaver for me, even before I ever partnered up with them. Like I said, I've been very fortunate to be working with brands whose products I already use, so it's a win-win for them. Why? But it can be a win-win for you too, because there's a reason I use them. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that simplifies managing money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions, lowering bills, and crafting a budget that fits your specific lifestyle. For someone like me who can easily lose track of expenses throughout every single day of the month, it's been eye-opening to see where I was overspending, stuff I don't use that I kept paying for, especially apps. Man, I was way too many apps. Rocket Money does the heavy lifting by analyzing your spending, then customizes notifications to help you stay within your budget goals. It's not just about saving money. It's about actively seeing and feeling your financial progress. It's a great feeling. They track your monthly subscriptions too. So many free trials I've signed up for that I forgot to, you know, get rid of before the free trial was done. Making it super easy to cancel the ones you don't use. A couple of clicks and you're putting money back in your pocket. I'm telling you, have you ever found hidden subscriptions or pay for services you forgot about? Because Rocket Money is a huge asset in helping to uncover those and even negotiate some of my bills down to up to like 20%. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and there's no better time than now because it is the beginning of the year, check out Rocket Money and see how much you could be saving. Stop wasting money on things you do not use. So to help support the channel and help support your wallet, visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Rocket Money currently has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. They've helped me and I'm confident they'll do the same for you. That's rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Your bank account will thank you. Hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real life conversations, offering quick 10 minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation based approach enhanced with speech recognition technology makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace anytime, anywhere. My dear friends in this age of monolingual mundanity, 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 mundanity. Babbel is our beacon of hope crafted by an army of over 150 language experts. Their lessons are like linguistic caviar, rich, refined, and oh, so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish or for the layman, Espanol to my wife, courtesy of Babbel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil, no paraphrase. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I basked in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. Because Babbel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited, time. limited time. Deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and restrictions. Apply. Join me, the Greg Albin, the adventure of language mastery at Babbel. We shall not just learn no, nay, we shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> We're done with this ad. I really enjoyed it. I mean, um, <laughs> I mean, look, the, the CGI on, on Clue, I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious. It wasn't what great. What CGI yeah. right, do you right. keep referring right, to? Right. Andrew Gordon. Well, I'm just going to get that out of the You're way Usually really so accurate yes, in your observations. I, I know. I'm just going to get that out of the way really quick. <laughs> it, uh, 
Oh, is that the director of the first one? I think so. Uh, anyways, the producer. Um, I mean, it's not the greatest CGI, but again, they were still at the early stages, so I kind of yeah. just, I still kind of view it as like, you know, as groundbreaking as the first film was, and like, you know, it's dated, but it's still like a charm, a charming thing of the first film that I love, and Yes, when you watch well, it now, with, Miranda. when you watch it now, like the, the CGI, it, it is very distracting and it's definitely dated. But again, they were still at the very early stages. So it, it, it is what it is. Um, it's weird. It, it's a thing where it's like if the first movie hadn't been in a position where it had to have just all the actual actors on screen. Daft Punk, so of course, good. stars so stars of the movie, Daft Punk, and Sarah Halle Finn cast this. Damn, yes. not bad. Um, but yeah, like the f- original movie having to have all the actors just on screen with effects all around them, yeah. weirdly, I think, works against this because if you didn't have that precedent and you watch this, I feel like it is... Well, it, it, it's two things. It's Yeah, it's like... it makes sense for him to look a bit CG in an all computer world. Of course, but the problem of is that everybody around them is like a photo real human being right, for the most right, part. So right. like well, de aging. Yeah, it's weird. It's like I wouldn't have a problem with it as a de age in context if that other detail wasn't the case. True. It's like I could easily forgive this for not looking, you know, like it would have been interesting to watch this the year it came out because I bet the year it came out there would probably be just a different the levels on the conversation of like it doesn't look 100% real but like man how far this technology has come like it was probably a little bit more like outwardly impressive yeah. initially yeah um but even still it was like watching it uh, uh, yeah it's like it is one of the more distracting elements of the movie it's it's but- but there was that one shot when he came up, though, that, that actually did look pretty good. Sure, but yeah, sure. Overall. Oh, that one oh. guy's name was Jarvis. Look at that. Ah, okay. We're not the only one who make Marvel references. Oh, and Steven Lisberger yeah. was in it. Uh, I'm, oh, the uh, the director of the first one. And by the way, if you are listening to this on Spotify or Apple or you're listening in the digital world, if you don't mind giving us a rating, we would very much appreciate it. Absolutely. Having said that, um, the rest of the, the visual effects, um, not as good as the 1982 film, um, but very, very, <laughs> I, I love, the, again, I love the world. Um, uh, just, it's so cool. And also like, the, the battles in the gaming and the the psych uh you know the bike cycling and also with the the jet cycling too a lot of the updates that they've done um and the suits and everything I mean it's just so well updated and again obviously at this time in 2010 we're so used to seeing CGI and visual effects we're at a point hmm. now in time where it's not as groundbreaking but still having come from 1982 to this point in time I just thought they really updated everything in a very beautiful way yeah like part of the fun of Tron of the first Tron, and certainly this one is just, yeah, getting to spend time in the world and all the little details and everything. And, and yeah, this was it, continuing that tradition and, and flourishing that in a nice way. And it split the difference in terms of tone because one thing that hit me whilst watching this, and, and certainly it was apparent when we watched the first one, was like, this is very... I kept thinking about Dune while I was watching this and being like this as a franchise, if you want to, you know, go because now we're getting a third one and all that stuff. Like, you know, you could do some interesting stuff in that you have this world that really lends itself to big CGI spectacle. But again, the charm to me of the first movie and why I was pleasantly surprised by and maybe less everybody when kind of talking about the first Tron is always like, oh, yeah, you like groundbreaking for the effects. But like the story is a little boring. Boring. Uh, And I. I didn't have that experience, but I, I can definitely either. see I enjoyed it. how you would or yeah. could. And and I feel like this movie kind of splits the difference in that it is definitely more geared toward the modern sensibility of sure. action blockbusters and whatnot. And especially totally. in the first act, I was, you know, a little on the fence about like, okay, how are we how is uh, the pace of this movie gonna feel? You're because right, like right. early on it felt a little uh, quick how, you know, uh, Sam Flynn is, is you know, out here doing his thing. And then, you know, he just that one day b- breaks into the, the NCOM, you know, lab and, and just immediately activates the laser and goes in. And then he's immediately, like, thrust into the games. And, yeah. Like, and, and, yeah, like, there's a little less of that air and breathing space to just, like, feel like you are 
in the world or like the, the thing is like because the first movie is a little less populated by so many things uh there's like you buy the space between set pieces and stuff a little bit more than you do in something like this however i do appreciate that this movie still maintains at least a certain degree of that element of, of i guess nowadays you would call it world building but sure. you know spending time in this place getting to know what it's like and what you know beautiful special things might have happened here that are worth fighting for or whatever i wish some of those things were richer because it's like especially for how important the Korra character is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, part of me was like, I like seeing the Sam, you know, I like seeing the story of like his son and all that stuff. Yeah. Like that's a good idea, fine. Uh, and a good way to like tie it all back to Jeff Bridges because we love Jeff Bridges in the first movie. Yes. But part of me is like, man, she's part of this like special race and stuff. And, and she's like, you know, a, 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 she's the last one of them. And, you know, she's a bit of a special case and a chosen one of sorts. Like, I kind of want to see this character's story from inside the Tron world. And maybe if they could have, mm. it, it's weird. I, I liked this more than I expected to, not that I didn't expect to enjoy it, but a lot of the sentiments I heard beforehand and around the time the movie came out was a similar thing to the previous movie in that it's like, wow, the effects and the spectacle and the world are really cool, but the storytelling is whatever, and there's mm -hmm. some questionable de-aging. But what I what I found here was like, yeah, there are times when it got to be sort of cacophonous, and you are sort of like, okay, I know we have to do all the action movie beats to course, get to a certain place or get to a certain part of the plot. So there were times where it did feel a little draggy or a little weighed down by you know, all the beats, all the plot beats we got to hit. But I did think, again, that they did have at least some amount of that charming world flesh that makes something like this appealing and, and you know, worth coming back to or whatever. Yeah, and uh, just, uh, you know, piggybacking a little bit off what you said, I, I did like the whole element of, you know, with Jeff Bridges and his son and also to Jeff Bridges bringing back that that energy. And also, too, you could just see, like, you know, with age and time, he'd become a lot wiser and more zenier, if you will. Yeah. Um, so he he's aged into the dude. He, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he really did. Um, so he's obviously not the exact same character he was in the first film. And obviously, 20 years will do that to you. Um, but like you said, I, I actually do agree with you in terms of Korra's character. I, I get we had to focus a lot more on, you know, what's happening with Clue and then the, the reveal of Tron uh, being Rinsler, Rinsler, uh, yeah. Rinsler, whatever it was. Um, and obviously we got to focus on the relationship between Sam and his father, which I, I, uh, Sam and uh, Kevin, which I really liked all that stuff. But I would have liked to have gotten even more with Korra because she was my favorite character in the movie. And, and just yeah, the whole yeah. idea of the ISO and how it could you know, repair the world in terms of, uh, well, I forgot that great line he said. You you kind of repeated the line. Um, I forgot what the line was. It was a great line, though. Uh, but um, just, you know, about how the ISOs were, like, going to heal the world with, uh, you know, medicine and all that stuff. And I just, I found that whole thing to be so fascinating. Yeah, and why just he was, hold the key to kind of all the things that ail us. They could, you know, help yes, us fix that. Yeah, yeah. and it, it would make sense. Like, obviously, like, Kevin was so fascinated by the world. I mean, that was his life, but, like, now you insert like the fact that he could like heal the world. Like, I mean, makes sense why he would want to go there. And then you have that whole arc of him understanding like what he'd lost was even greater than that with his yeah. son. Like, of course that was the emotional touch of the film, which I appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I really would have liked more focus too on uh core because she is such a great character. And I love too for a character that was digitally created. Like she was have, have such a fascination of the real world. And mm -hmm. I thought that was uh, Olivia Wilde did such a great job playing that off. You could see yeah. in, her, in her emoting and her facial expressions was just so well done. Yeah, it's uh, her body language and yes. that sense of wonder and that yes. like, yeah, that, that thing where like she's a humanoid character with like, she's essentially supposed to be, you know, like a human character, but she also has that that thing when you're watching, so, sometimes you'll watch something where you'll have like an alien or somebody, somebody having to embody like a, 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 a yeah, some other entity that isn't used to this place and all these traditions and stuff. And, and so there's like, yeah, a genuine curiosity that came with a lot of her performance, especially when interacting with Sam. And, and this is one of those movies that because of all these things, it, it does make me think of so many options of what it could have been because 
I think they chose like this makes sense to be the big budget sequel to Tron and to have to play as wide as it does. And part of me does wish they could go a little bit more Dune with it or a little bit more like Alita yeah. Battle Angel with it yeah. where where certain things it's like the set pieces are really cool and you do again glimpse some of what it's like to be in here but i i would love to see a version of this that goes even further down that sort of dune hole of like let's really soak in the environment and like what is you know there's a lot of interesting ideas but it's very surface levely kind of stuff where it's yeah. like oh yeah he's this reclusive uh, kevin flynn is this reclusive sort of zen master who is yeah feeling resigned enough to be like the only way to win is not to play because i'm just stuck here uh and you know there's like so much about their lives together where you're like oh man i would love to see a little bit of this or like see a little bit more of what the iso you know the their little pocket of this world was like before everything you know encroached upon them and they they were all wiped out and stuff. Yeah. And and even the contrast is like I like that they had a visual contrast between our world and and the computer. Yes, that's a good point. Uh, yeah. But but at the same time, like I, the the all the graphics for inside the computer and all the the way that's realized is like for the most part looked really good in terms of the lighting and the movie magic of marrying all the animation, the performances, whatever props are there, plus all these reflective surfaces yeah. and panes of glass and stuff like like it's really well pulled together in in the world i keep wanting to call it tron i guess in, in this version the game is called tron yes but, but uh uh like there the real world stuff i thought you know it didn't look bad but, but there was something about the way that they shot it where i i i don't know there was like a, a quality to the motion or like a fluidity that did feel like in contrast in a way that didn't a hundred percent click for me, but, but you know, I like that they at least went to the trouble. I, I guess I wish some of the real world scenes got a little more TLC and that could be from the pacing too, because yeah. I feel like in the first movie you did have moments in the real world where you would be kind of taken aback and you're like, Oh, that's right. We haven't been back here in a while. And like granted, most of the movie takes place in the computer. Right. But, uh, but yeah, again, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I would have traded a couple minutes maybe of really cool spectacles and chases and stuff because after a while it does become that thing of like, yes. yeah, it, it's, each one is cool and they're of cool course. to experience for the first time. But I bet on a rewatch, especially it's like, uh, it, Seen there's it. a lot of yeah it's like you got a lot of neon lit stuff and a lot of yeah. really cool again set pieces and stuff yeah. but there there does become that thing when you don't have as much of the it because that's the thing is it poses ideas and there's this whole thing about like you know hoarding information and charging for it versus making it free and giving it to all the people and like there are little you know robin hoody themes or populist themes or whatever and the theme of of yeah i wanted to make this perfect world uh and i got so obsessed with that that i you know became a tyrant i i basically made a fascist world instead because i was trying to find just the one way everything should exist when yeah. really chaos is part of it and those are the times where i wish this could behave more like uh, some kind of sci-fi epic yeah. rather than having to behave like a popcorn blockbuster, blockbuster and, yeah. and again i think that there is some of that blend and i did feel not the same kind but like especially for the moment this takes place in in terms of when it came out and everything like there is still a dazzling quality to how the world comes to life, even if it doesn't have as many thumbprints and as many sort of like the first movie felt like watching a stop motion animation movie yes, yes. only in the sense that you can just feel how much hand crafting had to go into each frame. And that's not to slight CG animators because like a movie like this sings because of the tremendous work from the animators. And I think that this is a case where maybe not quite as awe inspiring as the first movie. It still does give you that feeling of like man i would love to play a vr game in this world i would love to visit this place everything looks so freaking cool yeah. i want to know more about this society so my only hope is that going into tron 3 they embrace more of those space operatic kind of qualities because there were things about this movie that did get a little kooky it, it, you know it's like the the stuff between um jeff bridges and garrett headland i thought was nice uh, and and you know relatively heartfelt and earnest um 
but it is like a more familiar and a more straight played thing. Whereas you have like Michael Sheen dressed as David Bowie doing all sorts of craziness. And, you know, even Cora is like a little bit quirky in her, you know, interactions and the way she observes things. Then you've got like the hench dude who is clearly like just a complete spineless opportunist. And so, yeah, it's like, I appreciate those things and those are spiritual elements where I'm like, okay, so you didn't fully misunderstand what the assignment. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah, next time, I hope you bring more of this stuff right, right. to go along with the action that we know will be neat to look at. And of course, Joseph Kaczynski like is a is a you know a very commanding visual stylist yeah. at the very least. Uh, so yeah, it's just about you know how how does he nail out the storytelling dynamics? Basically, John wants Dune and Bla- uh, meets Blade Runner twenty forty nine and Tron. Kinda, yeah. yeah. It's like if Dune was also Ready Player One, you know, that like that, that'd be that, like, that's, that's a good combination of the three. I feel and, like, yeah. And, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, sorry, I feel like ahead. that would be the ideal modern Tron movie because, because again, the thing that surprised me so much about the first one was that, yeah, you, I felt less like I was in this kind of like sleek computer world mm-hmm. in this exact cadence, and more like, oh wow, this feels like some kind of yeah. strange empire of another realm. And this does have that, but it, it does feel a little bit more like you're in some kind of matrix, whereas the o- older Tron felt a bit more tangible in a different way. And yeah. So, yeah, it's like and that's the duniness that I guess I'm talking about. I wasn't about. the biggest fan of the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean. I know that's the director. It's the best one. Yes, I know. I know. The best I know. one, and Andrew. The, the director is doing that. So uh, having said that, I do like the cast of the of Tron Ares, I believe is what it's called. It's got Jared Leto, Evan Peters. Called uh, Trithreen. Tren 3. Uh, and Cameron Monaghan, I think we saw it was on the sure. cast. So, I mean, it's definitely got a very good cast. I'm intrigued uh, by what the possibilities could be. If anything, I'm just glad to get back into the digital world. Yeah. Uh, and also, too, uh, you mentioned Michael Sheen. I really loved it, the way oh, he was chewing so the fun, scenery. So he, uh, fun and to watch. I love what you were saying, too. And I wonder how many takes they had of him just ramping just up and doing messing that Messing around, dance. doing yeah. bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they probably just like, just do what you got to do. We're, we'll just, uh, we'll film you. Do your thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but exactly. yeah, uh, I mean, still, I, I had a fun time. Uh, it was a good, uh, a good you know, for first time, but I think like what you said, it could be a little tedious on on the action sequences, um, probably on repeat viewings. But uh, we'd love to hear in the comments section. What did you guys think? Do you prefer the first one? Do you like this one? Are they equally as great? Are you looking forward to? How did you say it? Tre- tre- Trithrian. Trithrian. Uh, You're looking forward to Jared Leto's it, Tron. Yes. Starring yes. Jared Leto. Yes, yes. Okay. I, I, I'm actually excited to see. I'm curious what they're going to do. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, these were, uh, I, I, I honestly, I enjoyed these these uh, two films. They were fun. I had a good time. I yeah. appreciated the the digital uh, stuff that we got and just like living inside the world building. I just thought it was really cool. Yeah. And, and also Kevin Flynn. I thought he was a cool character. Um, if this really is the end, because it doesn't seem like he's going to be in the third one. They'll surprise us yeah. with the bridges. You uh, know they will. Hey, man, you know I'm here. They will. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I'm back inside the machine. Yeah. Oh, God, maybe he'll show up as like a Zordon head. Because yeah, like, you know, that thing at That'd the end, he explodes and becomes, yeah. you know, the the one singularity, whatever. That'd be amazing. fuses with himself. I want to see that so bad. Now, they'll if, reset the matrix. If we, don't, if we don't get that, it will be so disappointed sure. uh, but anyways let us know what you thought of this film and are you looking forward to the third one and uh yes do all the youtube things hit that subscribe button bell icon all notifications and smash the like button and we shall see you next time Boo.